Hello and welcome to Cracksoid. If you have unlocked bootloader of your phone or installed custom recovery or rooted your device then you might have faced this common problem which is safety net fail and device is not certified on Google Play Store. Sometimes you will also see problems like CTS profile false and attestation failed. Due to this error, most of the banking app does not work on your device. So today in this video, I will show you every 6 methods to bypass all this safety net and device not certified issues. So without wasting time, let's start. All the methods that I'm going to show requires root permission so make sure you have rooted your device and if you don't know how to root your device then you can follow my video from description section to root your smartphone. Now let's start our first method to bypass safety net. My phone is rooted and if you have also rooted your phone then you must have Magisk app installed on your phone. So open Magisk app. First, I will show you safety net status. Click on check safety net. You can see attestation failed. Now, I will show safety net status from safety net test app. Open safety net test app and click on run test. It is showing failed. Now, I will show my device is certified or not. Go to play store. Go to settings. And inside about section you can see device is not certified to solve this issue now go to magisk app again go to its setting section and enable magisk hide option now go back and click on this super user option there you will see magisk hide option click on it from here, first select Google Play services and you can also select those banking apps which are not working. Now we have to reboot our phone to system. I will fast forward this rebooting process. Now phone is rebooted to system. Now your phone's safety net problem should be fixed. I will open Magisk app. Then I will click on check safety net. Then you can see success written which means a safety net is passed. I will also show from safety net test app and in this app too safety net status is now passed. Now let's check whether the device is certified or not. For this go to play store, open settings and on about device section device is still not certified. To solve this go back and long press on play store then go to app info. From here click on clear all data and click on ok to confirm. Now go back and again open play store and check. But now it is not even showing play protect certification option. There is only play store version at last. You don't need to worry about this. After clearing data, it takes some time to show play protect certification. So we just need to wait for about two minutes and then it will start showing device is certified or not. I am randomly using my phone just to spend some time. This is Redmi Note 5 Pro, which is based on MIUI 12. And about after two minutes, as you can see on play protect certification, device is certified. So in this way we can fix safety net and device is not certified problem. Now you can use banking apps without any problem. If this first method does not work for your device then try our second method. This is our second method to fix safety net and device not certified problem and as you can see on Magisk application safety net status is failed. I will also show from safety net test app and in this app too safety net status is showing failed and on play store also device is not certified. So open Magisk app, go to settings and enable Magisk hide. Now go back to super user section, click on Magisk hide and select Google Play services. You can also select banking apps which are not working. Now go back to setting section again and click on hide the Magisk app. You can also change its name. I will rename it as Cracksoid and click on OK. 
wait for a few moment then it will ask you to install application the name of the application will be same as you renamed earlier click on install it's a little warning from play protect click on install anyway now it is installed actually this is same magic app with different name so that system will not recognize it now both of these apps are showing but after a few moment that magic app will get hidden and this new app will work as magic app now reboot phone to system i will fast forward this rebooting process now it is rebooted to system i will directly open magic app and check safety net status and as you can see success written which means safety net is passed i will also show the safety net test app and here also safety net is passed now let's check device is certified or not for this go to play store open settings and on about device section device is not certified is written there to solve this just go back and long press in play store app then go to app info from here click on clear all data and click on ok to confirm now go back and again open play store it's saying can't start launcher wait few moment and open play store again and check its setting section but play protect certification is not showing so as on first method you have to wait for about 2 minutes i will fast forward this waiting period it's been a minute now i'll check play protection certification from play store and you can see device is now certified so this is our second method to bypass safety net and device not certified problem if this method also does not work on your device then try our third method this is the third method to fix safety net and device not certified issues first i will show safety net status and as you can see on magisk app safety net status is failed on both magisk and safety net test app also you can see on play store device is not certified now open magisk app first enable magisk hide then go to super user section and click on magisk hide and select google play services after that go to module section here we have to search for magisk hide props config and install it click on that little download icon allow permissions and install it and when it's installed tap on reboot button then it will reboot phone to system now phone is rebooted to system i will directly open magisk app and check safety net status and as you can see success written there which means safety net is passed also i will show safety net status from safety net test app and here also safety net is passed now let's check either device is certified or not in play store but still device is not certified showing so now you know that we have to clear play store's data and check back after few minutes so i long press on play store and click on app info and from here i'll clear its data as we have seen on first and second method you have to wait for few minutes then it will show devices certified so this was our third method to fix safety net and device is not certified problem but if this method also does not work on your device then we have our fourth method this is our fourth method to fix safety net and device is not certified issue. As you can see safety net status on Magisk app, it is showing test station failed and on safety net test app 2, it is showing failed and also on play store device is not certified. So first we have to repeat same step as we did on third method. Open Magisk app, go to settings and enable Magisk hide then go back to super user section and click on magisk hide button from here enable google play services then go to module section search for magisk props config and install it after installing magisk prop configs modules go back and open tarmax app you can easily download Tormax app from Play Store. 
you can use other terminal apps too and make sure your device is rooted as well open termex application first type as you and press enter button then termex will ask for super user permission grant it then type p e r o p s and hit enter now we have to go to edit device fingerprint option so type 1 and hit enter now we have to go to pick a certified fingerprint so type f and hit enter then the list of all smartphones brand name will appear here you have to go search for your phone's brand name my phone is redmi note 5 pro which is from xiaomi and xiaomi is in 30th number so i have to type 30 but remember one thing if you have installed any custom rom of another device then you have to select the device which custom rom you have flashed on your smartphone like if on your Xiaomi phone you have installed Pixel Phone's custom ROM, then you have to select Pixel device, not Xiaomi. I hope you understand this. If you feel any confusion, you can ask freely on comment section. I haven't installed any custom ROM and I am on official MIUI stock ROM, so I'll select Xiaomi as device name which is on 30th position. So I'll type 30 and hit enter. Then the list of all Xiaomi phones will appear from the list search your device name as you know my phone is Redmi Note 5 Pro which is in 79th position so I'll type 79 and hit enter. Then it will ask to select Android version. My phone is now running on Android 9 but if your phone is running on latest Android version like Android 11 or 12 and if it is not in the list then you have to select latest available android version android version 9 is on second number so i'll type 2 and hit enter then it will ask for confirmation simply type y and hit enter button to confirm then it will ask for reboot so simply type y and hit enter to reboot phone and to apply changes now phone is rebooting to system and this rebooting process will take some time so i will fast forward it now it's rebooted I will directly open Magisk app and check safety net and as you can see success written which means safety net passed. I will also check from safety net test app and it is also showing that it is passed on this app too. So now check device is certified or not. It is not certified but we know that we have to clear its data and check after some minutes then it will be certified. So this was our fourth method. If this method also did not work, then try our fifth method. So this is our fifth method. As you can see from Magiscap safety net status of my device is showing failed. If you are facing safety net API error, then this method will definitely help you. Also on safety net test app, test result is showing false. And on Google Play Store device is not certified as well. So to fix this we have to go into any browser and search Magisk Canary on Google. Then go to this official GitHub website and scroll down. There you will find Magisk Canary on download section. Simply tap on it and then it will start downloading. Now go to Magisk app, go to setting, enable Magisk hide then go to super user section tap on magisk hide option and from here select google play services then go to module section and search for magisk hide props config simply install that module as we did on previous method after installing module go back and install that magisk canary that we have downloaded earlier Allow all necessary permissions and install this update to this existing application. Now it's installed. 
open magisk application and on installed version this will show some random numbers instead of installed version of magisk you can also reboot your phone to system and check safety net status and as you can see now safety net is passed and device is also certified on play store so this was our fifth method to fix safety net error and device is not certified problem now let's jump into our final sixth method in this sixth method we are going to flash safety net fix zip file from custom recovery mode flashing any files from custom recovery may cause some problems so keep back up before proceeding to this process first of all i'll show safety net status as you can see on magisk app safety net is failed in this method you have to download this safety net fix zip file from the description section then reboot phone to recovery mode I have installed orange fox custom recovery on my phone now my phone is rebooted to orange fox recovery from file section select the safety net fix zip file and flash it by swiping to right then reboot phone to system my phone is rebooting to system and now it's rebooted. I will open Magisk app and check safety net status and you can see now safety net is passed. Also from safety net test app it's showing pass. Now to make device certified long press on play store app then go to app info and clear its data. Then check back after some minutes then device will be certified. So these are 6 methods to fix safety net problem and device is not certified problem. I hope any of these methods helped you to fix your safety net issue. So that's it for today. I hope you like this video and if you find this video useful then hit that like button and comment down your problems and suggestions. And share this video and don't forget to subscribe to Cracksoid YouTube channel and hit that notification bell too. That's it for today. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, goodbye. Take care.